Hello everyone, today we're going to be counting down the top 10 films that we recommend you watch if you want to learn more about the Neapolitan language and culture. Complimenti. Mo, we base this list on two things. Firstly, how much Neapolitan language and culture the film contains. And secondly, on its ratings on Google, Internet Movie Database and Rotten Tomatoes, alongside our own personal opinions. So, before we begin, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified about our future videos. Today we will be counting down Neapolitan language films, but please note that due to many films not being dubbed in Neapolitan, some movies could also be Italian films based in Naples that may contain more Italian than Napolitano, but they will still contain plenty of Neapolitan culture. So, without further ado, let's begin. Number 10 Vita cuore battito. Chiamami, mia mamma mi ha fatto ridocettimino. Infatti ha fatto su mobile. Well known all over Italy as Arteteca, who came from the famous Italian comedy television program Made in Sud, beloved artists Monica and Enzo star in their own great comedy film. Monica and Enzo are two 30-year-olds from the outskirts of Naples who live a routine lifestyle. Enzo works in a clothing store. He's a good but distracted boy while Monica works as a hairdresser and a beautician. Sobria, elegante, e la terza ve la dice la signora perché già mo mendicata. Minimalista. Their days seem quite simple until one day the lives of Enzo and Monica are turned upside down when they receive a European trip from a gangster. The film is full of comedy, creativity and culture. Also, if you enjoyed this film, we would recommend giving the sequel a try. Finalmente Sposi. Even though the film is generally not as popular as the first one, it may still be worth a watch. Number 9. Troppo Napoletano Troppo Napoletano is a perfect romantic comedy, especially for Valentine's Day. Madonna, conoscono tutto quanto! Vengo tutti in lunedì con mio padre. Ah, tuo padre! When Deborah's ex-husband, a well-known neomelodic singer, dies after a stage dive, Deborah worries for her 11-year-old son, Ciro, who is showing signs of depression. Looking for a solution, Deborah takes her son to see a psychologist named Tom Masso. During the therapy sessions, Ciro explains that it's not his father's death that's upsetting him, but actually his love for a girl in his class named Ludovica. The two make a deal that Tommaso will help Ciro to win the affections of Ludovica if Ciro helps Tommaso to win a chance with his mother. Ciro la sta baciando? Non si capisce! Ma co come non si capisce? Quando uno bacia un altro si capisce perché sono attaccati, si vede! This film contains many Neapolitan references and beautiful shots of Naples. Being a lovely film, it definitely deserves a spot on our list. Number 8 Toto Sapore e la magia della pizza Sorridetemi. Eh? E forza, dai, sorridetemi. <laughs> this animated family movie is set in 18th century Naples. A young Totò Sapore dreams of becoming a great chef in Napoli. But being poor, he can't buy the ingredients. Everything changes when he meets Polichinella, the Neapolitan character that personifies the traditional Neapolitan character in all its aspects, who gives Totò four magical pots which in turn leads him to become the cook of the royal family. But the witch Vesuvia, who resides in Mount Vesuvius, mistress of the magical pots, hates the cheerful spirit of the Neapolitan people. <laughs> and especially that of Totò Sapore, and plots against him until Totò, with his imagination, invents the traditional pizza and manages to save Naples from the enemy siege. Ashwa. Tengo una fame che mi mangerei il fucile. Quasi quasi. This film is a great tale of how the Neapolitan pizza came to be, made into such a beautiful story with song, color and comedy. This film is definitely a great movie to watch for Neapolitan culture and far-fetched history. Number 7. Incantesimo Napoletano. This clever film is based on a girl named Assuntina, who is born into a Neapolitan family and as she grows up, she begins to speak with a strict Milanese dialect. This very strange abnormality puts her relatives in despair and over the years, her family tries to change her back to her traditional Neapolitan roots. Solo conosco la 
yet Asuntina's predicament worsens, so much so that she's given the name Cotoletta, which reflects her refusal to adapt to any Neapolitan tradition. Every attempt is in vain, as is the stay in Torre Annunziata, to help her study the true Neapolitan language with her uncles, commoners who only speak in a very narrow dialect. Number 6. Il Principe Abusivo This great film contains a good deal of Neapolitan culture and language, as well as having a great story and deserves a place on our list. The movie is about a beautiful and spoilt princess named Letizia, who's looking for popularity. Anastasio, a witty court chamberlain, suggests that she pretend to be engaged to a penniless Neapolitan boy named Antonio, who works as a guinea pig for a pharmaceutical company. The young man falls in love with the princess, and to conquer her heart, he will need the advice of Anastasio to learn how to behave like a real prince. However, the roles reverse between pupil and mentor. When Anastasio falls in love with the Neapolitan cousin of Antonio, the fruit seller named Jessica, and needs Antonio's help to learn the Neapolitan ways to win her affection. Talk about culture exchange. Number 5. Benvenuti al Sud. This film is full of comedy and friendship. It will soon grasp your attention so greatly from how beautiful the story was made. The film centers on a postal worker from northern Italy who fakes a disability to request a transfer to Milan. When he's found out, he's directly sent to a tiny village near Naples to work for two years. He moves there alone, scared and full of the typical prejudice about the self. However, he meets the friendly local people who quickly make him feel at home. <laughs> now the challenge is to explain to his wife so, he chooses to make her believe that his life is hell. This film is great because not only does it show the stereotypical prejudice divide between the north and the south of Italy, but we can see how one can adjust and grow to love one another no matter what tradition and ways of life. Number 4. Io speriamo che me la cavo. Also named Ciao Professore in the English version, this heartfelt film stars the great comic Paolo Villaggio as a teacher from the north of Italy who ends up, due to a computer error, in a small school in a poverty-struck village near Naples. He can barely understand the native Neapolitan language of his pupils. When he slowly starts to understand them and the problems that they face at home, it really shows the charm of this great film. When he leaves, he will have taught something, but above all, he would have learned something. Number 3. Loro di Napoli This black and white movie is a great tribute to Naples that has an ensemble of actors like Totò, Eduardo De Filippo, Silvana Mangiano and Sofia Loren, amongst others. This movie is greatly captivating because it shows us the essence of Neapolitanism in a collection of several different stories. This is a must-see movie for anyone who is curious or has a passion for Naples and the Neapolitan way of life. Number 2. Carosello Napoletano this comedy musical is an atmospheric, colourful movie which has beautiful Neapolitan music, great acting and production throughout. Carosello Napoletano is uplifting, symbolic and a work of educational value for the Neapolitan culture. Antonio is the head of a family of street musicians in Italy. As the travelling cast performs in Naples, the film takes the audience on an adventure through the culture and the history of Italy. The group acts out a musical rendition of the Moorish conquest of southern Italy and meets up with other street performers. Along the way, the group shares its passion for music and folklore. All things Neapolitan can be seen and heard from the outset and throughout. From the classical Polichinella, costumes, sets and props, to the art and dance and scenes and atmosphere. This is a must-see film for anyone who wants to go on a cultured historical journey. Before we get to our top film, here are some great honourable mentions. 
Ma tu sei la Madonna! E invece so solamente una povera vecchia malata. Perciò fammi sta grazia. Fammi sapere che il figlio mio sta veramente buono. Ogni zona deve avere un capo. Un capo. Nella Sicilia, i siciliani. Nella Calabria, i calabresi. È in Campania, tu. Beh, scusate, signor, ma voi dove siete nati? Ma che c'entra il mostro fuori? Sono di Afragola. Ah! Signor, scusate, vorrei sapere che cosa avete voluto dire con quella... Ah, ha già fatto... Ah, no, io ho già fatto... Ah! So, this is what reached number one on our list. Based on overall rating and usage of the Neapolitan language or culture. Number one, Gomorra. We couldn't have made a Neapolitan film list without mentioning at least one film about the Camorra. And whilst there is many Neapolitan crime films, we have chosen this one because it's wide use of Neapolitan language from the dark and dangerous parts of Naples. I familiari può essere una brava gente. Boom, 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 hanno fatto. A così, ce l'hanno pigliato. In the ghettos of Campania, the crime organization, widely known as the Camorra, have created a fortune of corruption, drugs and chemical waste. Some try to fight back, like teens Ciro and Marco, who decide to steal a Camorra's weapon supply in an attempt to take control themselves. Others make an effort to hide, like Pasquale, trying to get around paying protection fees. But the realization sets in that the Camorra is too large, too powerful and too deeply immersed in Italy to be challenged. If you love real-life crime stories, this is a great film for you. Do you agree with our picks? Do you know any other great Neapolitan films that we have missed? What are your thoughts and opinions? Let us know in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a like to help support our channel for the future. Bye for now.